Continue Mechanics The Material and the Spatial Descriptions of Motion Consider an observer that is at the origin O of a rectangular coordinate system. At time t equal to zero, the observer identifies particle black at position big X in a body. If the body undergoes a motion, then the corresponding equations of motion can be used to determine the position of particle black at time t equal to 1 and time t equal to 2. Consider now a second observer and let little x be the position of this observer with respect to the first observer. At time t equal to zero, particle red is at the second observer's location. At time t equal to one, particle blue is at the second observer's location because particle red has moved away due to the motion of the body. At time t equal to two, particle black is at the second observer's location because particle blue has moved away due to the motion of the body. Therefore, at time t equal to 2, both observers will be observing particle black. Suppose that each observer is measuring a property phi of the body. The first observer will be measuring the property phi for particle black only at different positions. This is the material description of the property phi. The second observer will be measuring the property phi for different particles but at a fixed position only. For example, at time t equal to zero, the second observer will measure the property phi for particle red. At time t equal to one, the second observer will measure the property phi for particle blue. At time t equal to 2, the second observer will measure the property phi for particle black. This is the spatial description of the property phi. Since both observers will be observing particle black at time t equal to 2, their measurements must agree. Furthermore, both observers must measure the same time rate of change of the property phi of particle black at time t equal to 2. To measure the time rate of change of the property phi, the first observer must observe particle black at two different times. In the limit that the change in time tends to zero, the time rate of change of the property phi can be calculated by differentiating the material description of the property phi with respect to time only, keeping big X fixed. To measure the time rate of change of the property phi, the second observer must observe particle black 
at two different times. When particle black is at two different positions. However, if particle black is moving with velocity v at the second observer's location, then the change in position of particle black is equal to its velocity multiplied by the change in time. In the limit that the change in time tends to zero, the time rate of change of the property phi can be calculated by differentiating the spatial description of the property phi according to the following rule.